Hi everyone, hope you're doing fantastic today. In today's training video, we're going to take a look at using a hard copy piece of paper, something that's scanned through a multifunction scanner, how to use that PDF to get the text, copy it, and then put that text into a Word document. So say you're given a 700 page document. Maybe you want just a couple pages from that document. You don't want to have to type that information out every time. So this is just a quick way to capture that text, paste it into the document, and proceed to fill out the document that you're working on. So as you can see here on screen, we've got a PDF that is opened up. And this is just a simple black and white text PDF or document. It does have a logo, has some details. But say you wanted to copy the text. So let's say you're putting together a document and you just wanted this very first sentence. Well, you know that you can highlight this and start from the upper left hand corner before the text begins and then drag and drop it to the area where all of the text is going to be shown not just at the end of the word but since our text goes all the way out here to the right you're going to want to stop it right here I could control C on the keyboard and copy this however that's not going to actually perform the function that we want it to I could also right click here and you can see that it allows you to copy the image but once again that's not going to allow you to copy the text so in order to complete this task what we're going to need to do is switch over to our Foxit Phantom PDF application so when we do that we're going to go ahead open file we're gonna use the free conferencing PDF and we'll get up here up top you can see here this once again just a different application to open it up one thing that we're going to need to do in your case you may have the home tab selected we're gonna need to go to convert click on the convert tab and then here in the ribbon, go all the way over to OCR. Click on the drop down and select current file. Now if you are working on a multi-page document and you only wanted a select page, simply scroll to that page and then select the current page option. Or if you knew the range of pages that you wanted to select, simply select those page numbers going to keep the current settings. I'm going to want to make sure that editable text is selected and we will click OK and allow this to process. OK, so processing has completed and now we can see that we do have more defined, more clear text and it does appear that we could go ahead and click in this. Now since we are going to copy the text from Foxit Phantom PDF and paste it into a Word document, we're going to want to go to the Select button. There's going to be a couple options that you'll have for Select. So we are going to want to select Text. And in that case, all we have to do is left click at the beginning click and drag all the way to the very end of the last word or sentence that we want. Let go of the left button on the mouse. And I can control C on the keyboard to copy. I could also right click, copy. All will perform the same functions. And now we're gonna open up a Word document. This is a blank Word document. All you have to do, simply control V or you could right click and paste. I'm gonna go ahead and control V. And now you can see that it did copy the text from the PDF and did it fairly well. A few little things here and there. Maybe you'll want to or need to go ahead and readjust some of the spacing. Maybe it uh, 
combine two words together. Maybe did a few things. Simple cleanup will allow you to do that. And if there are any changes in the font or the size, at least you can simply make those changes. As you can see here, was the case with this. Say if we wanted Arial 12, certainly get that. And that does look better. So you may need to make some adjustments. Even here with the styles, you may need to make some adjustments there. Um, and you could apply that all to the document at one time and proceed with that to make it a simpler transition. Well, I hope this video helped out. Thank you very much. Have a great day.